Good Monday, makers. In this week's episode, we're looking at 10 different builds that you can use for inspiration, for storing, organizing, or just cleaning up your home or garage. All kinds of great builds. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up is this storage solution from Nick, and this is for storing pots and pans in their tiny apartment. It's really cool because you can see underneath here, this is where they have their garbage can and recycling bin. As you can see, their stove is right in front of it, so it is a really compact area. So they gotta make the best use of space that they can. So they have the garbage can and recycling bin underneath here, and this frame just goes up and over. And then they have this shelf here that sits on top, so you don't have to worry about you know covering up the garbage can. You can still access it. They've got this shelf here that they can store stuff on. And then at the very top of the frame, they just built this rectangular you know, solution. And at the very top, they've got this pipe going across with T-connectors. And they just use some O-rings and S-hooks that they've got on the pipe uh, that are just kind of captured there between the two connections. And then the S-hooks are holding up different pots and pans. As you can see here, it looks like an awesome solution and a great use of space for this tiny area that they've got to work with. So super great job, Nick. Thanks so much for sharing that. We really appreciate it. Next up is the Titanic Rack for Action Packer Bins, and this was made by Dan. And this is really unique and a great idea to keep in mind if you're doing something similar. You know, if you're into mountain biking or something like that and you want to not only store your bike, but also all the gear that goes along with it. Nick, or sorry, Dan, actually made this, um, this rack. As you can see here, the frame, uh, it's kind of a rectangular frame here at the bottom that has wheels with a unique solution that we'll look at here in a second. But this frame is made uh, to have kind of cubicles or squares in it that allows these action packer bins, he called them, <clears throat> to slide in and out, which is really awesome. And the pipes that run from front to back here with the T-connectors are just supporting those bins. And he's got six in total with a shelf on top that sits in between the pipes. It looks really nice, kind of a flush mount there. And then the bike secures to this upper uh, this frame that he's got going on the top of the rack and the bike can secure to that. So he gets the bike kind of off the, the ground and gets it up in the air and then it's got all these uh, you know, bins underneath that he can store whatever it is, all kinds of gear and this, this different stuff that you need for cycling and whatever else you might have laying around your garage that you just want to get out of the way. This is a good technique to keep in mind even if you're not doing like biking, you can just build this cubicle frame that supports the bins that you could just slide in and out you can store whatever it is that you may need inside. And what's really cool is how he mounted the uh, actual feet on the bottom. And this is actually another post that he did where basically he secured a piece of wood to the frame with two hole straps. And the bolts that run through the, uh, the, the wood here is actually going through this plate uh, mounted caster. I'm not sure what the exact name is for that, but it's a plate for the caster. The bolt goes through the, the plate there through the wood and then into the two hole strap and then a nut of course to cap it off. And it looks like a really awesome solution to get a low profile caster. And now we can not only store all this stuff and organize everything, but he can roll the whole frame around and move it around the garage if need be. So a really great solution from Dan. Thanks so much for sharing that. Next up is this solution from Sue. And this is a, a desk that achieves a few things. So in this room that she has that she does quilting and different things in, she didn't really have much space to build a shelf or desk to work on. So what she did is she built a custom desk and shelf that fits in between two closet doors. Not a lot of room to work with. So she had to kind of maximize the space and go vertical. And it's a great desk. Here is the work area here with a couple of shelves underneath. It's got shelves on the back here. And then of course the desktop. And then on the right side, it's got looks like five total shelves. And then it even has a spot on the other side for storing quilts while you're working on them for different projects. So she's got you know craft boxes, printers, and the quilts, and the desk set up with the monitor, and then the shelves, of course, over here with the office supplies. There's a TV up there. And she really just was able to maximize this whole room and store all this different stuff instead of having a separate desk and then a separate shelf and then a separate quilt rack. She was able to combine all three of those and build this custom desk and shelf unit all in one, and it fits in between these two closet doors and just makes great use of the space. It's really awesome. Great job, Sue. Thanks so much for sharing that. Next up is a simple one. This is from uh, Scott, who made this ball holder, and this is really a great idea if you've got you know kids or 
you know, whoever who's got a bunch of different sports balls laying around. You got basketball, soccer ball, volleyball, tennis, all this stuff, and you know they can get loose. They're all over the yard or just around the garage, wherever. But this is basically recreating one of those ball holders that you might see at, you know, Walmart and basically just creating a rectangle cube that goes from the bottom to the top. And then you can just get some paracord or bungee material and just tie it off around the pipes and basically just recreate this kind of ball organizer that just stores all these different types of balls and keeps them out of the way and organized until you need to grab them. Then like you do at Walmart, you can just pull it through the wire and since it's elastic or bungee material, it'll just kind of move out of the way. Really great idea from Scott and a great way to organize all these different balls you might have laying around. Thanks so much for sharing. Next up is a really unique shoe rack made by Digital Factor. And this is cool because they had, as you can see, a staircase here and not really much you can do with this space. But instead of just letting it go to waste, they built a shoe rack that actually utilizes a really unique solution, which is low profile ball casters here. And those are just secured to the bottom of the vertical pipes and made this frame that's able to slide in and out from under the staircase here. And here's a picture with it all loaded down with shoes. It's angled. They got a lot of shoes there on it. And it looks like a great solution. And even if you're not doing something uh, just like this, you can still utilize space in a similar way. Maybe you have a, a weird nook or cranny that you want to make use of. You can build something custom and, you know, solve a problem like, you know, shoes everywhere or whatever it may be, you know, coat rack or something. If you've got like a weird corner next to another piece of furniture, you can make a, you know, hat rack or a shoe rack or something like that. You can kind of utilize space differently based on different problems you might have around the house. So that's really awesome. Thanks so much for sharing that digital factor. Really cool to see. Next up is this solution from Chris. This is a really cool tool organizer that he made for his shop. You can see here that the whole thing, it not only stores different tools, but it can also slide in and out. And then this contraption here is able to rotate around kind of lazy Susan style. So you can access all sorts of different tools. And basically he made a maker pipe frame that goes up and over top of this, you know, rotating piece down here. And then he's got a shelf up here that supports different uh, things. Then he's got some drills on this angled pipe. He just drilled some, uh, you know, holes through the angled wood there. And so the head of the drill and these other tools can just go through the material and just a really great job and a really great idea for organizing tools, especially small tools like this, because usually they just get tossed into a drawer and then over time they just get even more and more disorganized. So he made this so they have a place to go and uh, a great place to be stored and easily accessible in the future if you need to use them. So really great idea from Chris. Check out his Instagram, Break, Fix, Make. We also did an interview with him that you can see on the YouTube channel. I'll link it down below, and he kind of uh, explains the build in more detail, so you can check that out for more info if you're, if you're interested. Next up is a build from Tom, and this is one of those projects that solves a couple of problems while still saving space. He said that their son wanted their dog, Ralph, to sleep in the same bed. Here they are together. And he couldn't climb the ladder. Ralph couldn't, at least. So they wanted to build a staircase solution for Ralph to be able to get up to the bed easily. But they didn't really want to give up floor space and space for a shelving unit. So they just combined the two with maker pipe and conduit. They made this staircase that goes up that Ralph can you know use to climb on top of the bed. But then underneath, there's different shelves for Lego... They've got some, you know, stuffed things here. I like all the different space themed things. And now they've got this shelf that stores all this stuff. And on top of it, the dog can climb up to the roof or to the, uh, the, the bed. And they've got some cool lights on there. It just looks really awesome. And it's just a, a great build to not only, you know, solve those two problems, but still maintain some storage and organization. Really great to see. Thanks so much, Tom, for sharing that. Next up is a solution from Sue. We saw her quilt desk earlier. This is another one. Inside their garage, they built this bin storage shelf, very similar to what we saw with Dan, where basically the conduit frame, you know, is just custom sized to fit on this wall here. Then they just added some crossbars with T connectors to basically support some wooden shelves that also support some plastic bins. They've got two, four, six, eight, 16 total plastic totes here with even some cardboard boxes on top 
It's a ton of storage for all sorts of different stuff. If you don't have an attic or a basement or a storage shed, you can use a simple stand like this that doesn't really have a huge footprint in terms of the overall depth. It's probably just, you know, a foot and a half, two foot deep, and it's holding all these different storage bins and cardboard boxes, and you can kind of go vertical and save space, save floor space by just getting those things off the ground and stacked up high. But two, because it's a shelf, instead of having, you know, all of these stacked on top of each other, and, you know, if you want to get one, this one out, for example, you got to pull this top one off, or heaven forbid, you got to pull this bottom one out, you'd have to take all three totes off the top and then pull the bottom one out. But with this solution, instead of doing that, you can access all the bins at any time, and again, just keep them out of the way, all organized. So really great job, Sue. Thanks so much for sharing this. Looks like an awesome solution. Next up is a great shelf from Jessica, and this is really unique because it is similar to what we saw with Dan and Sue, but it's made for those fabric bins that you can get that are pretty inexpensive. And basically she built this cubicle system that allows these bins to slide in and out, and they're all independent from each other and can store all kinds of different things. But then she also maximized, uh, they're, they're kind of spaced out a little bit differently. So there's books in between, and there's also, it looks like a drill case or something down here. Then they've got some books in the middle section and some, you know, decorations. And this is a really great solution for storing all kinds of different stuff in these bins. Whenever I was a kid, me and my brother and sister each had a bin with our name on it. And we had to, uh, there was kind of like a, a middle area between our rooms upstairs and downstairs. So if we left stuff downstairs, it went into that bin and then we would transport it upstairs kind of as like a, a middleman uh, you know, organization technique to keep it off the floor, but not quite put away. It's just a little bit out of the way. It's like a, an organized chaos, <laughs> if you will. But you could do something similar or just make a storage bin that has all kinds of different stuff in it and you can store it and keep it out of the way and have it nicely organized. Really great job, Jessica. Last but not least is a complete kitchen overhaul. Here it is. This is a shelf with a uh, fridge underneath and it is loaded down. It's got pots and pans hanging off of it. It's got food. It's got all kinds of kitchen appliances. It is just loaded down. But John recently overhauled it. Here it is. They cleared out the area. They got the fridge still there. Then they used conduit and maker pipe and this butcher block to create this beautiful prep station, as you can see here. This frame sits nicely around the fridge, it has a shelf on this side, and that butcher block sits on top, and it's on caster, so it can roll around the kitchen. So if they use it to prepare, you know, different food, they can roll it over to the stove or to the other counter, uh, and or even roll it to the table, I guess, uh, if you wanted to use it as like a serving cart as well. Then they added some, uh, looks like some pegboard to the wall, and then there's a shelf also up here. Uh, it's kind of like a floating shelf design where it's secured to the wall. I guess it's not really a floating shelf if it's got the pipes underneath it, but it's a great shelf nonetheless. It looks like there's a flange holding the pipes to the wall, and there's some pots and pans up there. And they've got this wire rack that's also there uh, holding some different things, and it just looks fantastic. Here's another shot of the frame that they have that holds the butcher block. It looks like they used all kinds of different connectors, and then again, caster so it can roll around. And then, of course, the, the butcher block sits on top. But they went from this just maxed out area this you know pantry slash fridge area slash pots and pans storage and turned it into this really beautiful prep station for the kitchen. Came out awesome. Thanks so much, John, for sharing that. Really great to see. That's all the builds I have for you this week. Hope you guys enjoyed checking them out with me. If you want to see more builds to inspire your storage and organization, check out our storage and organization subtopic in the community. It'll be linked down below as will all of the projects that we talked about today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next video.